Eating healthy is hard, especially when stores use misleading labels to convince consumers that this feedlot farm can produce the same delicious, nutrient-packed, and hormone-free beef as this farm. Grassroots Farmers Co-op makes it easy to choose healthy, pasture-raised protein. And by the end of this video, you'll be equipped to dodge the dangers of store-bought beef. We're exposing the health risks, ethical implications, and environmental threats of consuming food from factory farms. Keep yourself safe and stay tuned until the end of this video to see how your grocery list could change the entire world. Where do cows live? In roadside pastures, grazing on tall grasses, and taking naps in the sunshine, right? Not quite. Most store-bought beef comes from feedlots, where industrial agricultural companies raise as many cattle as they can fit on concrete or dirt lots, confining their cows in crowded, crisscrossing enclosures. With no shade, no grass, and no opportunities for mental stimulation, each cow despondently paces the perimeter of their barren pen for six to eight months before being sent to processing. That's a distressingly dismal existence for a species that thrived on pasture for thousands of years before large-scale feedlot production disrupted farming cycles in the early 1960s. Concentrated animal feeding operations, also known as factory farms, have all but monopolized the American meat industry. They prioritize profits, growing beef as quickly as possible to stock supermarket shelves, with little regard for the health hazards, animal abuse issues, and alarming environmental effects of feedlot farming. Let's break down the biggest dangers of buying beef from factory farms. At feedlot farms, crowded cattle share close quarters. If one cow contracts a disease, the densely populated pen can quickly become a disaster zone. Environmental stressors like overcrowding, restricted movement, and exposure to extreme weather conditions only increase the risk of outbreak. If you've ever heard of mad cow disease, then you're familiar with the threat of zoonotic diseases, which can be transmitted from animals to humans. In the 1980s and 90s, the outbreak of bovine spongiform encephalopathy, aka mad cow disease, left over 200 people with an incurable and fatal disease just from eating the wrong beef. Though mad cow disease has now been nearly eradicated, cattle raised on feedlots are still susceptible to zoonotic diseases like salmonella, E. coli, and campylobacteriosis. If you eat their meat, you're susceptible too. But don't think you have to give up succulent steaks, juicy burgers, or tender pot roast. At Grassroots Farmers Cooperative, we raise grass-fed and finished beef. That means our cattle spend their whole lives on pasture, free from the stress of feedlot farming. We provide spacious paddocks for our herd and move them daily to graze on fresh forage and carbon capturing cover crops. Our farmers closely monitor the health of the herd. At the first sign of illness, any sick cow is quarantined to the hospital barn where they are nursed back to health naturally. This meticulous care keeps grass-fed and finished cattle healthy without the use of antibiotics, which are nearly unavoidable for large-scale factory farms. When those sick animals are processed into meat products and sold to customers, that meat can contain residual antibiotics. Consuming antibiotic-treated animal products can cause allergic reactions and disrupt the delicate gut microbiome, negatively impacting digestion and immune function. Even more dangerous is the threat of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which can develop in the stomachs of livestock. If these bulked up bacteria are transmitted to humans, it can make infections harder to treat with antibiotics, leading to more severe and potentially life-threatening illnesses for humans. But antibiotics aren't the only input factory farms use to raise livestock at breakneck speeds. Factory farms often use bovine growth hormone to stimulate the growth of muscle tissue in cattle, leading to faster weight gain. By using hormones to reduce the time and resources required to raise cattle, factory farms increase their overall profits. But hormone treatments lead to health problems in animals, like lameness, mastitis, and even increased manure production. Products harvested from those animals now pose double the risk. When you order pastured protein from Grassroots Farmers Co-op, you know your grass-fed and finished beef is raised antibiotic and hormone-free, guaranteed. Use coupon code GRFC15 for 15% off your first order, and we'll deliver wholesome, nutrient-dense protein directly to your front door. 
Not only is our pasture-raised meat free from synthetic additives, but it's also packed with superior taste and a robust nutrient profile. Let's look at some of the health benefits of grass-fed and finished beef that you won't find on standard supermarket shelves. Do you want improved heart health, reduced blood pressure, clear skin, or relief from joint pain? Compared to conventionally raised beef, grass-fed and finished beef contains higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids, which provide a host of health benefits. Omega-3s have also been shown to reduce chronic inflammation. In contrast, conventionally raised beef often has higher proportions of omega-6 fatty acids, which can actually worsen inflammation. Grass-fed beef typically contains less total fat compared to conventionally raised beef. Our cattle's diverse diet of high-quality forage provides health-boosting antioxidants in abundance. Grass-fed beef, raised full-time on pasture, provides a plethora of potential perks for personal health. But conscientious consumers aren't the only ones who benefit from the regenerative methods we practice at Grassroots Farmers Co-op. For years, factory farms have been synonymous with subpar standards of animal welfare. Undercover investigators and covert camera crews have captured egregious injustices in feedlot operations, and consumers find it hard to trust the faceless corporations that manage these mega-productive enterprises. From the beginning, grassroots founding farmers have prioritized transparency in pastured meat production. Because you deserve to know where your food comes from, how it was raised, and who kept it safe before it reached your plate. Livestock raised on our regenerative farms are reared with care. Our farmers embrace their herd's natural instincts and adhere to rigorous animal husbandry standards. We're so committed to honoring and respecting the livestock we steward that we've posted our livestock husbandry standards and best practices directly on our website. The guiding principle at Grassroots Farms is low-stress animal management. Animals that experience low stress levels throughout their lives yield high-quality, nutrient-dense, and undeniably delicious protein. That's why our beef is worth a premium price. Happy cows come from ethical farms, and our methods of holistic livestock management ensure that our animals live happy, healthy, and wholesome lives on pasture. They're free from the stress of a feedlot smelly and sweltering stalls, and they're encouraged to explore their environment, munching on a diverse mix of cover crops straight from the soil. Have you ever heard the expression, you are what you eat? We take that a step further. You are what your food eats. When our cattle graze on lush, nutritious native plants, they develop robust and richly flavored meat. When feedlot cattle are fed dried hay that's been drenched in crop-preserving pesticides, they absorb and accumulate pesticide residues in their muscle and fat tissue. Some pesticides are known carcinogens, and consuming them in animal products can cause both acute and chronic health effects. But why do factory farms feed cows this pesticide-treated hay, especially if it's a threat to animal and human health? Why are cows fed grass that's grown and harvested on another farm, dried and driven to the feedlot, and dismally distributed in gray cement troughs? Cows are much happier to eat fresh grass straight from the soil where it grows. They eat a variety of seasonal plants, which are grown and stockpiled for year-round grazing, no pesticides present. Raising cattle regeneratively not only yields healthy protein, but also allows us to steward our ecosystems carefully and responsibly. Feedlot footprints may be small, but the farmland required to raise crops, cut them, then feed the cows is inefficient and causes high levels of CO2 emissions. But at Grassroots Co-op, we farm efficiently and capture carbon in the process. In fact, raising cattle regeneratively could be the key to slowing, stopping, or even reversing climate change. Biomimicry is an innovative approach to farming that draws inspiration from nature's designs and cycles. Picture this. In a natural ecosystem, various species of animals, plants, and insects work together in harmony. Conventional farming disrupts that harmony by removing the cattle from their native habitats and introducing antibiotics, hormones, pesticides, monoculture farming, and ecosystem endangering elements. 
In contrast, we mimic the biodiversity of our ecoregion by mixing different types of grasses and plants to create pasture just like you'd find in the wild. This biodiversity improves soil health, prevents erosion, and supports wildlife like birds and pollinators. Regenerative farmers have embraced and adapted this cycle to feed cattle while minimizing overgrazing and soil degradation. That's why our pastures look like this, while your average feedlot farm looks like this. As we aim to capture carbon and reverse climate change through regenerative farming, we conduct yearly testing to measure the success of our methods. Our network of small-scale family farms is already exhibiting rapid regeneration through grass-fed and finished beef production. Since joining Grassroots Co-op and embracing regenerative agriculture, our member farms have seen huge positive changes in their land. At Heifer Ranch, rotational grazing has increased the soil's ability to absorb rainwater, making the land more resilient against flooding. These on-farm observations are supported by annual monitoring of soil health, organic matter, litter cover, biodiversity, and more. Feedlot farms, on the other hand, have proven themselves particularly pernicious to our Earth's atmosphere. Industrial animal agriculture causes nearly 15% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions, and raising cattle in factory farms is by far the biggest offender, making up about 65% of emissions in the livestock sector. When it comes to sustainable solutions for food farming, regenerative cattle rearing is the science-backed solution, and our cooperative of small-scale farmers is redefining the way American eaters source their food. Invest in your family, your farmers, and your future by supporting sustainable agriculture every time you order groceries. Use coupon code GRFC15 for 15% off your first order of delicious, nutritious pastured protein from our online store. Then, meet the grassroots farmer who's revealing the secrets to ethical farming with this video. Or, follow along on the journey of a pastured chicken from the hatchery to the farm and on to your family's table.